to Japan and the tsunami that's uh, sweeping through the uh, northeast of the country right now. Well, the government has so far confirmed some 32 deaths, but that number is expected to rise. It follows the 8.9 magnitude earthquake, which sent a 10 meter high wall of water inland across the uh, Miyagi uh, prefecture. Uh, the destruction's widespread. We know that 200 people have been washed away with buildings, cars, and ships all swept uh, by those waves. It has SOS helicopters, please land, please land here. Today, Japan woke up to widespread devastation. It is hard to believe it's been just 24 hours since the most massive earthquake in recorded Japanese history. It began as a sunny Friday, much like many others. But at 2.46 in the afternoon, without warning, the earthquake struck. This is the diet session recorded earlier, right when the earthquake hit Tokyo. Uh, at first, the, the, the people that I work with here in Tokyo, it was normal for them. Um, and shortly after that, it, it started to get scary. We are experiencing a earthquake. Oh, Building with terrifying intensity. Everything is falling. Holy shit. As the quake rumbled across the country, school children ran in fear. Shocked supermarket shoppers tried to stay on their feet. Airport travelers dodged falling debris. And a TV crew setting up for an interview was suddenly interrupted. In Sendai, the city closest to the epicenter, books flew from shelves. Debris from buildings crashed to the ground as pedestrians ran for cover. Oh, God. 189 miles away in Tokyo, confusion and then panic. I know. Gary. Oh, this building's swaying across over here. Oh, scary moment. Below ground, an American working in Japan captures this dramatic video in the subway. This was somebody taking you by two hands and just shaking you constantly for a good three, four minutes and just wasn't stopping. I was amazed how long this thing was going. It just did not want to stop. All right, I'm going to go under the desk. The quake lasts five agonizing minutes. When the earthquake hit at its strongest point, it was so significant that I, I couldn't stand up in my room. That's how much the building was moving at the height of the main quake that hit. And leaves Japan's capital city.